us a little bit about what we look for in the cab while we are planting. So we're going to take a look at some of the technology we have in our cab today that uh, allows us to monitor what's going on on the planter and uh, really just make sure it's doing the best job we possibly can do. Uh, for those involved in agriculture, a lot of people are familiar with this technology uh, for precision planting. Uh, but for those that aren't involved in agriculture, this might be their first time seeing some of this stuff. Uh, it might really surprise people uh, just how in tune with the machine we are and how in, uh, precise we can get our planting operation. Um, when you look at the monitor, this first monitor, it is talking to every aspect of the planter. Uh, there's sensors all over the planter telling us what is happening every second on every row unit. Uh, right here we can see our population, we're planting at 34,000, so we're, that was our target population and we're planting right out on the dot. Uh, here's our singulation, which will just tell you that an individual seed is coming out perfectly in time. There's not any skips or any doubles. Uh, it, it is 99.7% accurate. So out of those 34,000 seeds per acre, it is 99.7% accurate. Same thing with our spacing there. We want our seeds evenly spaced out, and that is how accurate our seeds are being spaced. Uh, at any time, I mean, I can look at, click on one of these. I can see every single row in a chart. I can click on any single row and get an in detail uh, description of what's happening to it. Uh, and here's a little chart behind the wheel of what looks like uh, our seed coming out. And so we can see everything happening on every row unit. Uh, we've got some hydraulic cylinders controlling our down pressure, keeping our seed uh, at a consistent depth across the field. Um, we've got uh, nitrogen control here, so we're not wasting any seed, any liquid. Uh, if I were to try and drive where I've already driven, it will not let me plant uh, back across where I already have. And so people, you know, trying to say that, oh, farmers are uh, wasteful, that they just throw a bunch of chemicals and fertilizers and seed out there. And uh, it's just simply not true. I mean, we are running as precise as we possibly can uh, for what's on the market today. Uh, we're running such tight margins in agriculture right now, we just cannot afford to be wasting any part of our uh, inputs. So anything happening in this monitor is then uh, being relayed to my iPad. So when you look down in the iPad, we're painting a uh, colored map uh, coordinated with different parameters. Uh, here's the tractor in live stream going across the field there. So we can keep any of that data that we have up top. We have individual maps that we can uh, color so that we can save this data throughout the season, throughout multiple seasons, and uh, really start drawing correlations on what's happening in our fields. Uh, that allows us to make better uh, decisions going forward for how we're managing our operation. And so uh, really a, a great platform to keep everything and uh, Compare, I'll run this in the combine, and so I can, I can overlay maps and see how things play out. Uh, this monitor right here, which it can uh, be used for multiple things, but I personally just use it for my auto steer. Uh, so that makes sure the tractor is running at sub-inch accuracy across the field. We're never overlapping. Uh, it allows me to keep my hands off the wheel and be focused on the machine behind me. I don't need to be staring ahead, uh, having driver fatigue, really focusing on just the driving aspect. I can now focus on the management aspect of what's going on and keeping the machine fine-tuned. Uh, and lastly, this is our rate controller for our Inferno fertilizer. Uh, and you can see as well, it's got a radar hook to it. It's got a rate controller keeping it accurate. And so everything is uh, surrounded by accuracy and precision, data. Um, so really just some amazing technology that can be used today. And uh, from there, we're really just uh, keeping an eye on making sure things run consistently. If anything pops up at any given time, that very second, I can go back to the planter, see what's going on, make corrections. Uh, whereas in years past, guys, would really it might be guesswork. I mean, they might not know they had a problem until uh, until the corn comes up. I mean, they won't realize uh, how their planter was performing. Uh, whereas I'm seeing every second how every single row is performing across every single field. So that is what uh, we're looking for in the fire tractor.